too. Good morning, everybody. chat for a minute about some things and then I'll read you a poem I wrote yesterday Every, you, you have to admit the times we are living at this moment are very strange and I made the conscious decision to live in my vehicle when they locked everything down I chose to you know live free there's a lot of stress involved, but you know, where are you going to go, how are you going to get there, you know, I have a, a whole lot of paintings, <laughs> the front of my vehicle is just stacked with uh, canvas, and I picked up some more paintings at my dad's on sale, so selling my art, that's how I'm going to make my living, right now I have about 70 bucks for gas and $20 for food, and, but I have, a bu I have some canned food and water, but it's scary. It's a new beginning. It's it's putting me first. No time clock. Nobody to yell at me and tell me what to do. Every five minutes, my mind is free. My thoughts are free. It's scary, but it's new. I have to embrace it. <clears throat> I hope those that are. And I've I'm 51. I've done I've done the nine to five and that's some. Nobody can tell me I'm a bum. I've, I've done my part for king and country and then some I have no obligations to anybody I'm done making other people rich on my talents my talents are for me I'm the emperor right? what's up babe? no there's nothing here for you I got one of those what I call them those oh, it's a bee it's not the normal bee it's not the honey bee <clears throat> but yeah, I'm the emperor of the universe, babe. My universe. And if I have to sit on the corner and sell my art and pray somebody will buy it. Yeah. Oh, did I mention I'm my registration's about to be due and I'm no longer insured, so I can't really be driving a lot. It's a bit scary. That is probably the, my biggest, you know, sphincter tightener is the fact that I'm a bit of an outlaw when it comes to driving at the moment. I'm very by the book, so it's kind of cheeky. But anyway, here comes the mobile home. <laughs> I hope a lot of people are just getting tired of the BS and just hitting the road whenever they can. I tell people, if you're going to hit the road in your vehicle, if you got a bunch of seats in there and you're only sitting by yourself, take out a few. You know, leave one for a passenger, but, you know, rip it. I'm Mine's completely free, so I can r crawl around in here. It's great. I mean, it's not like the Ritz or the, you know, Hilton, but no jacuzzis. But it's freedom. I mean, look where I'm hanging out. I'm blessed. I'm very fortunate to be here. And I have, I can stay here for half a month if I want to, which is <laughs> pretty much what I'm going to probably be doing. I might be here for a minute, so. And then somebody's running their gym. How about if I read that poem and get the hell out of here, right? Okay. It's called Children of the Wind. Eyes that eternally search the horizon. Never seen an end, only the next dawn. A glow that it originates in pain and sorrow. Now illuminating the darkness, darkest part of the journey. Evermore reaching for the setting sun. you liked it i love you god loves me and the universe loves me so rock it okay rock that love work with it. anyways i'm gonna pull you out let you check out the kind of smoky right now but anyway love you guys have a wonderful day